you to get out of the way. Hate you. Hate you both. Okay, one ammo crate, one key, grabbing peels, and some good old-fashioned cola. Where is the... Aha! Any day now. Oh, see ya! Can we start the show before we blow a hole in the TARDIS? Wait. Welcome back to Dark Feed. It only took forever to start the show. Hey, if I don't get my daily fill of Mountain Dew, then I don't operate correctly. You still don't operate correctly. Your face doesn't operate correctly. I don't have a face. Exactly! Ugh. Moving on to the first news story, yes, we actually have news this week. A countdown to May 1st has begun for the announcement of the next Call of Duty game, and nobody gives a sh it's more than likely Black Ops 2 anyway. On to more depressing news. Star Wars Battlefront 3, one of the many games with 3 in it that we so desperately want, was being developed some time ago, but was ultimately canned. This news comes from Steve Ellis, co-founder of Free Radical Studios. He said that they were not only put in charge of developing Battlefront 3, but Battlefront 4 as well. When Free Radical went down, Battlefront 3 and 4 went with it, and haven't been picked up since. Speaking of people who shouldn't really be starting new projects but finish old ones... Um, we weren't talking about... Tetsuya Nomura has been hinting at a possible sequel to The World Ends With You. When asked about a possible sequel to The World Ends With You, Nomura said, there's probably something. Speaking of more people who won't release sequels to their games, Valve's Employee Handbook has escaped to the Ethernets. Available in PDF format, it says all the usual Valve mumbo-jumbo like, we will one day rule the world, the Half-Life 3 is a lie, you know, the usual mumbo-jumbo. Now, for the next bit of news, I'm going to talk like this, because I am the Dark Bat, and this new story is about the Batman. More specifically, the Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition. It comes with all the previous DLC and the new DLC called Rattle the Cages. I mean, Harley Quinn's Revenge. For anyone who has Arkham City already, Harley Quinn's Revenge will be released on April 30th. And the Game of the Year Edition comes out on May 29th. <laughs> Your throw her yet? Yep. Thought so. Finally, we have some Nintendo news. The new Super Mario Bros. 2 has been announced to be released as soon as August. It being a Mario title, I'm sure that everything about it is 100% brand new, innovative, and stuff that we have never seen before. Is that a hint of sarcasm I hear in your voice, sir? No, Ibo. It's a lot of sarcasm. I see. Anyway, that's going to lead us right into our question of the week. Last week, I asked you what you thought I should do with my new invisibility cheat. Hunter Slasher 13 and Corndog both had questionable material on the brain, so I won't be doing any of that. Varnus, on the other hand, had a great idea. He said I should use it to sneak into E3 
because ticket prices are a bitch. Cool Sun H said that I should haunt Square Enix and convince them to make Final Fantasy stuff happen quickly and locally. One step at a time, Cool Sun. Gotta haunt Gabe Newell until he releases Half Life 3. A big thanks to everybody who commented and to everybody who was directed here from n4g.com. Now that I know you exist, I would like to hear your feedback as well. While I would much prefer that you leave your comments on Gaming Union, I'll try to remember to make weekly visits to N4G. With that said, for this week's question, I want to know your opinions on Nintendo. More specifically, the fact that they have like five games and how they just remake them over and over again. Do you wish that they would spend more time developing new IPs? Or do you like getting a new Zelda game or Mario game every year? Leave your answers down below. Don't forget to follow me on the Twitters at GUDarkFeed because I hate talking to myself. Also, be sure to check out the latest podcasts of Kingdom Hearts Union, where Brandon, and Chero, and Jackie rebelliously act rebellious in their rebelliousness. Right! See you later, guys.